Hello and welcome to my first Blender sort of run around, see how I do things video. I'm not really, it's not a tutorial, it's more just a video of me doing what I tend to do in Blender, which is just have a go. Um, I'm by, by no means a pro. But I um I do use it for my own personal artwork. Um, but in this case, <coughs> I'm making a few assets for a video game called Terminus Cyberstar, which is a indie game in development uh, in the cyber cyberpunk genre. It is a first-person shooter RPG immersive simulator, um, and it's pretty cool coming along. I've got some videos coming out soon, but um probably wondering what this object is that I've started making. I probably guess actually. It's uh it's a toilet. It's a bog. So I am making a toilet. Trying to make it a little bit future, a little bit sci fi. Um and this is what I've got so far. I literally started with the default cube. Um, and I've done a few loop cuts, uh, which if you're not familiar with those, that is uh, holding control R, which enables a loop around the geometry um, and allows you to draw it in. That is the basics of what I've done here to get this hole. I've um, created a an inset face and extruded it down into the, into the geometry. So if I was to show you that now with the default cube, press one to go to the front orthographic view. So you know if I go into edit mode by pressing tab hold control press R if you go to the edge you can see the loop on the edge that you uh, head towards you can use the mouse wheel to um, change the amount of cuts you can go quite extreme I've never actually seen how extreme you can go but quite extreme but anyway so say you want say you want to you can place two. You can also, um, once you press left click on the mouse, you can then select a area uh, along the axes that you're, the opposing axes that you're going on. So you know this time we're we're going across the x and y, so we can slide along the z axis or Z I should say because I am English but yeah so that's that so say we've got those in um, we're happy you know I might um, just for example got the edge select I might change you know the shape to that I might then um, like this to give me some extra room later and to get that hole which you saw and this is actually looking simpler already um, you press I on a face uh, you obviously have to be in face select there and you press I you can then drag it in sometimes where you start the mouse matters quite a lot of the time actually so if you start out here it gives you more more zoom something I always get frustrated with when I do it so once you have your face you have that um, those faces to play with now but you want to create the hole um, another little useful thing is if you're you know if you've got this face selected but for some reason you know you you're finding it hard to get onto it press 
I on the uh, I. D uh, what am I on about? S full stop or the dot on the numpad, which allows you to focus on the selected. So anyway, once you've got this face selected, you can then press E to either extrude up or down. So before I do that, I like to press 3 on the numpad, go into wireframe so I know exactly where I am with this. I'll bring it down to this level. I then select this inner edge of the inside box and I drop that down to where I want it to create that look so to get that other hole I literally did the same process pressed I gave myself a little inset and then I just moved it down to meet the bottom edge along the X then in Oh, then in edit mode, edge select, and I just played around with these um, these scales. So if you don't know how to do what I just did then, I um, obviously you can change these around how you like. Um, but then if you select one, hold shift, and select the other and you want to move those two in obviously you can scale but then it does you know it can do some weird stuff if you don't want it to go along you don't want to go up and down you don't want these to change in height you don't want them to change along the x axis uh, the z axis sorry the blue one so you would hold you would press s which is scale then you would hold shift and press z which is the one you want to avoid so it's hold shift and push the one you don't want and that allows you to move along with the other two. So then just that was just so I could get a little bit of a square um, shape. I then did exactly the same, selected the face, and I extruded that way, which gives you a kind of pipe. And it does break through this face, but for my asset, you're not going to see this back face, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's basically where we've got to. So uh, this one is 68, so it's, a, it's actually quite a lot less. So I'm going to just drop it to the side. And call this Toilet 2. Um, and I'm going to expose my first one. And see which one I prefer. Obviously one is... This one is 196, this one is only 68. So this one has a lot more detail. I'll stick with my I'll stick with my one. I won't delete that one, but you know, basically I've got to this position by adding in a few more loops, pulling in different parts. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna go back to this one because this is At least it shows you will probably be at roughly the same place if someone's following along. Although this asset will be used in a game. It looks pretty pretty bad at the moment, of course. But it should get better. Okay, so I'm going to get those uh, extra corners in. Uh, let me just look at this again. Because... I'm thinking, I'm trying to save on 
Nope, I backed out. I'm using this one. My indecisive self has decided. So, here we are. I had to do a little stop edit because I had to move some timber in my yard. But now I'm back to the toilet. Back on the bog. Okay, so yeah, I've got this toilet, which I'm sticking with because that's just what I'm going to do. Um, I've got this plane, which is going to be some kind of back panel uh, with a... Um, button and maybe a s maybe a sensor or something um, so that's that yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new collection which is going to be my um, I'm just gonna call it extras I'm gonna put the toilet in there hide it and put it at the top because that's where I get rid of stuff I'm gonna make another one and call it Where has it gone? There it is. Um, and call it utility. And put that above again. And that'll be for my lighting and cameras and stuff. Um, I'm going to call the plane back. Okay, back to the toilet. So it's looking a bit square a bit boring for me so my next stage is to make it look a little bit rounder I'm trying to keep it as low poly as I can but needs to look a bit better because this is a bit too blender kind of style blender box style um, so what we're going to do we're going to go to this modifier properties tab add modifier and we're going to use a subdivision surface which adds more detail Obviously this looks disgusting. Yeah, I just want to see what this low poly, how it reacts to the modifier. What about that? What have I done? Oh, I applied it to that again. Okay, so we'll add it to this toilet. Okay, that's reacting a bit more like I'd expect. I mean, it looks pretty creepy, doesn't it? Although, that looks more like a basin. Hmm. Do I like it? I mean, I am freeballing. I'm not even. You know, I have no. No goal, as such. Other than to make a toilet, of course. That inner face is what I'm looking to get. I don't see. What's going on there? What is that one? Is it this face? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, here we go. We've got this going. I could flatten that. Oh, shit. Alright, yeah, that's starting to look better. So we're actually now using the fresh. Okay, so we got this weird, weird looking thing going on. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, I don't really know what it is anymore. It's almost. It is. It is a toilet. Isn't it? Is it a toilet anymore? I don't know if it can be said to be a toilet. It's like a. It's like a weird. I mean, I can imagine it in some kind of ceramic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, yeah, let's see what it looks like in some kind of ceramic. So I'm gonna go to material, ceramic, that's probably the wrong spelling. Um, I'm gonna make it look metallic. I'm gonna change it to HDR. Um I do it again? Oh yeah. Let's put it in there. Okay. Base colour is going to be at white. Now with the back panel in mind, I'm going to do some kind of adaptations, some adaptations, sorry, to bring a bit more connection to this back panel. How can I do that? Would I inset? Yeah. Okay, so I need to come back. Focus on these. I'm going to inset that. All right. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm having fun. This is fun. Yeah, I like it. I actually like it. Doesn't look like a toilet that you want to sit on. It's more like a urinal. But I think we could we could do something with that. We can change. We can change things. So if we go to we go to this and we start oh, and we start putting stuff in I mean is it a little okay I'm gonna start putting all these in as well no no, I'm not. I'm going to pull these up. What am I trying to do? Okay, so this, yeah, so this loop will come down a little. I think this one would come forward a little. Okay, so we started started to get a little bit more yeah. It's almost like we want more of an edge. So I'm gonna have to have another loop I think. Okay. Do you want that to 
be I've got shoot smooth shading on I want the I want that to be visible clearly okay so I'm gonna move these forward again to give them a bit more let's can I do that Nope. So yeah, these three, bring them down. That one can come back up. Okay. I'm gonna. Mm, I think yeah. I think we need a split down the middle. That has changed things quite dramatically. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Someone's talking about me. Okay, okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to delete my original because it is useless to us now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate this, Shift D. So I've got it at this stage. Toilet underscore backup. So I'm going to put this proper one in there and the backup can be there, which I can use to do different things. So I'm now going to add that loop in, which has significantly changed the toilet. And to be honest, it's probably better just with that change. Um, it makes more sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just... Oh, I didn't mean to put the cursor that way. I'm just going to pull the front out. And I want to dip that down. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I actually quite like that. I think that's fine. I think that is fine. But we have no way of water being pushed in, so we need some kind of inlet. As much as I like this design, we could say it pulls. Pulls water. Pulls water. Conventional toilets push water in as well as pull. But we could have it so it just gets vroom pulled out and then clean water comes back in. So we could do that with texturing. I could leave a strip of detail ready for it. So, I mean, we're at 3K poly which is quite a lot for a thing that might not be very visible a lot of the time um, you know if you drop it down it loses a hell of a lot of its quality um, but I do I do like it so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide, no I'm not, I'm going to work on the back panel, which is going to be flat to save on information required. So we're going to go to edit mode, I'm going to 
have a split in the middle um, beneath that I'm gonna have a little thing like that I think that's fine maybe raise it up a little bit I'm gonna go face select I'm gonna go inset then I'm gonna scale this like we did with the other one and create a little square now within that square I'm going to extrude inward and I'm going to do another square now there's not really enough detail for me to turn that into a circle unfortunately so I'm going to go with square button for now start adding some more details we have a strip there and a strip there rough oh, about there um, that they'll be for um, different things so I'm just going to get this material that's not changed and call it button and that will be a metal um, no, so this will be metal underscore one and I'm going to create a new material which will be called button the button will be a black metallic super reflective and I will select the button faces and I will select the button and assign it to that did I not do that one? obviously not Okay, so the button is now visible. Um, these panels could do with some more fun. Hmm. I wish I did those split. I wish I did some splits before I did the button now. I'll tell you what we could do, which would be fun. That can be a mirror. So that would be a mirror, which would be fully metallic, fully reflective. Oh, and it will be on that one. and we'll insert that ever so slightly and then all of this could be the same material so maybe like some kind of tile I don't know maybe yeah maybe a tile would a tile look right white ceramic black button let's try it shall we let's do a new material this one will be a bit more of a complicated material um, so for this I'm going to use 
um, an image texture. I'm going to. I did download some free polygon um, stuff today, which I will use for this. This one. Just as a little tester. So I'll use the color. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to assign all of these faces with that texture material, I mean. Assign. I'm going to call these polygon tiles I'll just call it tiles because this is actually going to be a, added to a game so I don't want to do weird naming conventions um, okay so one thing we got to do which I haven't done is some UV stuff so we can come into the UV editor. I'm going to mark these oh, these edges. By right clicking once they're all selected and mark the seam. Um and then I'm going to select all and press unwrap. So what bit is that that is done awkwardly? It's probably the inner face. So I'll probably do that again Oop, with these inner lines. Um, and I will mark those seams. Select all with A, U, and then press UV unwrap. Yes, it's not really doing what I want. Perhaps it's the back face that's being weird. Was it the inner? Yeah, it might be these actually as well. So I'm going to mark these seams because I don't want these to be tiled. Just gonna see what that does for the unwrap. What part is this? I can't work this out. Oh well, let's let's see how this is. So that's changed most of it. almost what I want. One thing I'm going to quickly do is it's going to need one more material which will be metal 2. Um, new metal underscore 2. So fully metallic. This one will be quite quite rough and slightly darker. which will go there and then I will assign metal 2 to all of these inner parts on the mesh which will be this one this one and that one. This will be metal to assign. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got that. And then you can play with, you know, how dark it is. So 
and then the button not quite reflective yeah no I want it to be kind of obvious that it's there maybe it emits light a gentle blue It's not really doing any anything cool. Yeah, we've got some awkward stretching here. Just to do with the UV mapping somewhere. Um why oh why is it doing that? Because everything seems to be in good order. It is these ones though. It is these awkward shapes that are stretching. So it'll be these if we can scale those. Oh no. Okay, so it's them as well. Hmm. Do I do? That is the question. Do I bring them in? almost like it's like they want to be but they're not gonna be yeah there's some weirdness some weirdness going on Roo. I think they're slightly different. They're they're fine, they're fine. They aren't. It's like this and this are slightly that like that's slightly off to the right. If I was to go straight up with that, is it in line with that? Looks like it isn't. So. Aha! Is this face needs to. The line. Better. Oh no, what have I done? I've opened up a can of worms here. 
shit. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unwrap it again. Okay, so we're back to where we were. See now, I could be a cheeky monkey and avoid this altogether because I've wasted loads of time on this. I could just be like, you know what? There aren't tiles there. There are no tiles there whatsoever, and that could be my use for metal one. And then I could, I could make that like a super clean metal strip which highlights the buttons better and I could I could then you know I could come out of here and not worry about it and everyone could be like oh it looks a bit ugly though and then I could be like alright well maybe I'll is it yeah and that one metal one maybe I'll protrude these slightly We invert, put them in, inset them. Yeah, okay, that's what's being done, guys. That is what is being done. Now, this tiles thing looks a bit shoddy because we have not got much going on in the way of. So I'm going to set up a mapping node and texture coordinate node. I do not have a clue where it went. Um, so I'm going to just put a, another one in there. Uh, drag the UV to vector. And I'm just going to hide them now um, then I'm going to go shift D to duplicate this and I'm going to open up the normal map let's give ourselves a bit of a side perspective here uh, we've got the normal map I am going to make this a non-color I'm then going to put normal map node and I'm going to connect that to the normal and the color to the color increase the strength to 2 bring our vector connection from the mapping node down to there it's starting to get bit better you could also play about with that but you know yellow to yellow so that can go nice and snug in there um, you can then shift D again for a new map, I'm going to go for um, the reflection map, which is in Blender the metallic um, aspect of it. So we're going to map that to vector and it's non color information. So it's starting to look a little better. Um, I'm then going to Command D, get another map, get the display, uh, the gloss. Sorry, um, change that to non-color, alpha 
to roughness Ooh. vector hang on I might have might have got this wrong Yeah, so I've done something, I've done some wrong here. Don't need what have I done wrong here? Let me do some reading. So the gloss is definitely roughness, which I got right. Reflection. This map is only used in non PBR specular workflows. It states where the reflection should and should not appear. PBR workflows ignore this map, specifically speaking. All materials have reflection. Limiting it is possible. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that definitely doesn't go there. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna delete this one. Because I like to determine how reflective things are. Which is actually this one. And I'd quite like the tiles to be like that. Or even like that. I'm going for that super clean, super, super tile look, you know. As we don't even need that, we just need that. Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. Okay. So after all that, that was a waste of my effort. All right, so for the sake of for the sake of it, I'm going to set this light up like that. I'm going to change it to an area light. I want it facing um I want it facing down. down light uh, it's a rectangle if it is a rectangle oh no not zero and then this one's going to be zero as well so this is going to be simulating a strip light um, we'll have it as a 500 watt bulb slightly no, no, it's going to be pure off-white. Car shadows, yes, 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 yes. Um, we need a plain floor, which I'm going to position at zero, zero, zero. I'm going to scale this to about 10 by 10. No, that's not right. We'll say 40 meters squared. 
um, this is going to be um, totally new material which I'm going to just set up a quick um, oh, what have I done? image texture set up and use another poly Oy, what have I done here? open um, a new polygon texture go for some kind of let's see what plaster we've got what did I download let's see what concrete I got oh no no we'll go for the, we'll go for the plaster or stone no okay we'll go for the plaster um Go for the bright plaster color into the base color again with the mapping. Um, and then texture coordinates into the vector. And that can be hidden for the rest of time. I'm going to go. Um, be good if we could see what we're doing. I'm going to go sh Shift D. Oh no! Shift D. Reconnect that one to the color. This is going to be our normal. Uh, add in a nor. What do I do? Constantly making mistakes today. Normal map, which will plug into the normal, and then it will be color to color. I want that strength again because I love it. And put the vector up there. And this is also non color information so we have our normal what other ones have we got the reflection gloss yeah we'll go for the we'll go for the gloss um, this time which is the roughness non color add in the vector now this one is obviously way too big so I'm going to go tile 10, tile 10. Hmm. Maybe I'll go 5 by 5. Hmm. Yeah, see this looks more like a wall, doesn't it, actually? Okay, so probably best I use this for the wall. Um, so I'm going to rotate it by n what? Rotate it on the y axis by 90. I meant the x. Um, And I'm going to scale that right down. Put that like that. Doesn't particularly fit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another strip around there in a moment. I'm going to change, I think the tiling is still off on this baby. So I'm going to make the mapping 2 by 2. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we've got our wall. Wall. That's got our plaster. Um, wall. 
can just leave it out for now. Um, then we're going to need a new, new floor idea. Plane. Keeps putting it up there. Zero, zero. Ah, oh, it's because my cursor's up there. Which is annoying. Um, um, oh dear. I can't actually remember how to do what was what was I doing? Alright, yeah. So make this thirteen by thirteen. And we'll bring this wall here. Floor I mean. Um Yeah, no, I was right. So Shift S, um, cursor to world origin. Sweet. Okay, that's what I want. Um, blam, 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 blam. Floor. That's what I was gonna do. my new floor material, that's what I'm trying to get my head around. Image texture. Open. Again I'm going to look into these um, what have I got in here? Fabric, not what I want, industrial, concrete, metal, plaster, <laughs> maybe metal. Yeah, I'm going to use one of these 2K metal panel things. But I'm going to make it look like a concrete of sorts. So I'm going to do a mapping node again along with a coordinate node. So the UV into the vector, vector to vector, that gives us control of the sizing or the mapping. Um, we will then shift D and do the normal. Uh, which is non-color normal map node, bang that in there, bang the color in there, and bring that down. I will then increase the strength to showcase the tiles, which is great. Um, I will then shift D this and we will pick uh we got what we got what we got what we got reflection displacement gloss that's the one i'm looking for hey do i want that though no i don't think i do i'm going to go for the reflection no no i'm um, for this example we don't need that so i'm going to decide myself that it's going to be very rough and non-metallic um, I'm just going to see if I can get these brighter there we go for a colour ramp try and kind of match 
a style that would look right. Okay. I think that will do. Oh no, one thing is the mapping for this is again not good enough. So I'm going to go twice for that. And I think that's fine. Yep, yep, yep. That is all good for me. So we are now done with the floor, which I will name into floor. Rotated on the y axis at n no. Rotated on the x axis at 90. What am I on about? Z at 90. Gah. And line her up. And put him in the corner. Might just um, bring that in so it's a bit more funky. Boot there. Okay, I should be going to photo mode now. I'm going to change my aspect to aspect, my resolution to 2K. I'm going to go to move to get myself a nice perspective. Um, bit of that. Move her back again. Is there a gap there? There is. That down doesn't even matter. One more thing I am going to do is add another plane. Which I'm going to have about there. Oh, idiot, one idiot, I had the other object selected, okay, so we have this, I'm going to scale this in, press 7, just to make sure Okay, we don't want that water that high because that will be touching your balls if you're a man. All right, so this is going to be our water. I'm going to create a new one, call it water. Um, I'm going to give it a nice blue for now. Unreflective, full transmission. Little bit of transmission roughness. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to just do a crazy thing and use the ocean modifier just as a little bit of a um, Yeah, it's doing some funky stuff. So I'm going to put this to point one. I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's a still a big flow, and it's, it's got some movement in that water. We just want a gentle, gentle uh, bit of water. Smallest is 0 0.01. All goes largest is 0 0.02. Nah, 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 nah. 
go 0 0.5. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. Still got some water. Oh, hang on, that doesn't make sense, does it? Smallest is zero point zero one. Ah, oh, that's fine, isn't it? Do we want it to foam? No, I don't think we really want it to foam. Um whoa. That's fine. That's plenty. That's plenty of detail for what I'm attempting. Okay, we're gonna go to photo mode. I'd like the cam to be about there, but I want it to capture the entire thing. So I'm going to Reangle that and let's get rid of all of the gizmos and put that into rendered view. Now, the color of that water looks a bit toxic to me, which is quite fun. I'm thinking some kind of coloured fluid because it is like a sci-fi toilet it's not pure water it's going to be like some crazy crazy fluid that I want to dilute it slightly. Okay. Alright, we're looking that's looking alright. The light can mess around with that a bit. What does a thousand watt light do for the scene? Not too bad. to mess with the S value for the white which is pretty good alright I'm going to go to my render settings I'm going to put that to 500 samples um, I'm going to use adaptive I believe we are good to go uh, other than one thing I do want to mess with is the button. I want that button to look a bit more striking. The button could be red, could be blue, could be purple. Whatever the color is. Mm, red, red's too obvious, isn't it? And let's just put this to white. And let's just find our colour first. Blue. I'm saying like an off. Off white blue. And then I use that change the power whoa change the power aspect of it mm, I'm gonna put that at 0.5 metallic not gonna be rough at all mission let's put that to five Alright, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 
I think that's good. It's a good little tester scene. Save the project. Um, and then I'm going to render an image. <laughs> 